Ito na ang pinakahinihintay na araw ni Alvin Buckley, ang Pilipinong lumaki sa Australia matapos mawala sa Maynila taong 1989. Meron na po kasing resulta ang DNA test sa nagpakilala niyang mga kapatid. Sila na nga kaya ang tunay niyang pamilya. Taong 1989, nawala at napulot ang nooy anim na taong gulang na si Alvin. Inampon at inilipad sa Australia. Naging matagumpay sa buhay at ngayon hinahanap na ang tunay niyang pamilya. Matapos ang tatlong dekada, may nagpakilalang mga kapatid niya. Siya yung kapatid ko nawawala. Sa gabing ito, lalabas na ang resulta ng kanilang DNA test. Anong kutob niyo? Siya po yung nawawala namin kapatid. 100%. I need to know who I am. I need to know who I'm from. Ang batang naligaw noong 1989, makakauwi na nga ba? The probability of full siblingship is... Nagsimula ang lahat taong 1989. They asked me to come for a walk with them to the market. Just go. I tried to go back home and find my way back, but it was just too dark. Both my friends decided to leave me. I knew that I was lost and I started crying. Nabagan siya at kalaunan, itinurn over sa Reception and Study Center for Children ng Pampanga. Hindi nagsasalita yung bata. Ang alam niya lang is pangalan niya is Alvin. My mom used to carry this wooden trolley with her vegetables. She had short curly hair. She had like a round face. Dahil walang nag-claim sa bata, inampon ng Pilipinang teacher na nakabase sa Australia, si Nanay Lilia. Si Alvin ang kamukha namin. Kaya siya ang napiling i-adapt namin. Sa paghahanap ngayon ni Alvin, tatlo ang nagpresintang tunay niyang pamilya. Pero ang pinakamay tumutugmang mga detalye, ang magkapatid na Glenda at Marilyn na nawalan din daw ng kapatid taong 1989. Ang pangalan daw ng nawala nilang kapatid, Alvi o Bitot. Hindi na kami mapakali. Gusto namin na makita na talaga siya. Hello, how are you? We're so excited. How old are you, Glenda? 39. Going 40 on November 5. I was kind of predicting you'd be about 40 years old, so 30. So you're one year older than me. Two years. Two years older. That was the memory that I used to call my sister was Belinda. So it's Glenda, right? Glenda, not Belinda. Sounds like she's our nana. She has curly hair and round face. She looks familiar. I've always had in in my mind that it used to be called like. Baby or baby, baby. Nana passed away last 2016, and Daddy passed away last year. Heart attack, both. It's a shock. Trying to mash up these stories with you guys. I'm trying to understand how this has all come about. I wasn't prepared for this. There's a strong feeling that they might be my sisters. So the stories are matching up pretty close. Can't say 100%. I need to make sure. Sa puntong yon, sumailalim na si Naglenda at Alvin sa DNA test. How's your family? Nitong Webes, nakausap ko si Alvin. You must be dying of excitement, huh? Yeah, yeah, How are you feeling right now? Yeah. Pretty nervous. I've been waiting for, for a long time for this. A lot of emotions. It's really hard to explain because I've never felt like this before. I'm sorry to ask this again, but I'd like to hear it from you. Why are you doing this, Alvin? I'd like to know my past. I want to know who my real family are. This journey or this life for you, what has it been like? It's been pretty good. I, I must admit that I've been blessed all my life. I came into to a, a really good family. The past must have come back to haunt you. How did you get over it? It was hard. It, it's just one of those feelings that I've had to su suppress all my life. It's one of those feelings that I've never forgotten. There must have been a lot of darkness growing up. There's been a lot. Um, I just had to keep going and, and just keep living day to day and without you know, having that feeling push me back all the time. 
but I kept faith is what really kept me going. Para malaman kung may mananariwang alaala sa kanya, nagpakita kami ng mga bagong video at litrato. The mother of Glenda and Marilyn is the lady in white, uh, Alvin. Do you recognize her as well? I've got a vague memory of my mom, but what struck out for me was her short black hair and a very kind face that I've always just keep seeing in my vision. And mm -hmm. she does resemble like my mom. And she has short hair. As soon as I saw that photo, it, it really just gave me this warmth of feeling. You know, there's a saying in Filipino, we call it lukso ng dugo. Yes, yeah, definitely. It's just a, a, a feeling that I can't, I can't explain I'm attached to that image. We're going to show you a video also of uh, the market. Do you recognize any of these images that we're showing? This is what it looks like these days, the typical mm -hmm. Philippine market. It's a lot different to what I remember. The street cuts through a railway. Yes, that's right. Yeah. You remember the railway? I remember the railway very well. I used to walk along it all the time with my friends. It brings back a lot of memories for me. Ano masasabi niyo dito sa paglalakbay o journey po ni Alvin para mahanap po ang kanyang pamilya? Talagang napaka-saya ko at parang makikita niya na ngayon ang kanyang mga kaanak. Wala ho kayong pangamba o konting selos kasi kayo ho ang nagpalaki sa kanya. Wala akong pangamba dyan. Alam kong hindi maaalis ang pagmamahal ni Alvin sa amin. Naalala niyo pa po ba yung first time niyong makita si Alvin? Ay, oo. Oh, napaiyak ka ako kasi yung kinuha siya. Parang naano na rin ang aking puso sa kanya. What's Alvin like as a son, Dave? He's a family boy. Which is really good. Nay, parang naiiyak kayo, Nanay Lilian. Napapayak ako. Dahil very close sa amin talaga si Alvin. Ang mga nagpapakilalang kapatid ni Alvin na si Glenda at Marilyn, buo ang loob na siya ang nawawala nilang kapatid na si Alvi. 100%. Wala kayong pagdududa? Wala ko pagdududa. Paano ba nung kayo lumalaki na alam nyo may nawawala kayong kapatid? Sobrang hirap po na dumadaan yung panahon na hindi namin siya nakikita na wala kami yung lead kung nasan siya. Pinagdadasal na lang namin na sana si kuya nasa ayos na lagay. Si nanay umiiyak. Eh wala naman din po kaming magagawa. Sana isang araw mabuo kami. Bago siya na ospital, may pinuntahan pa siyang isang lugar kasi may nakapagsabi sa kanya na parang may alam kung asan si kuya. Tapos hanggang sa wala na, na ospital na siya. Hanggang sa huling mga taon pala ng inyong nanay, Opo. hinahanap niya. Opo, hinahanap, hinahanap niya, niya po yung si, kuya. Yung nawawala Opo. niyong kapatid. Opo. Oo. Ninenervyos po kami. Parang excited kami. Kasi alam namin sa sarili namin na siya po yung kapatid namin. Eh. May lukso ng dugo din ba? Meron po talaga. Nakausap din ni Naglenda at Marilyn, ang adoptive parents ni Alvin. Napag-uusapan niyo ba si Alvin sa tinagal-tagal na pagkawala? Niya. Napag-uusapan po namin siya. Madalas po siyang kinukwento ng nanay, lalo na po sa akin. Kasi ako po yung laging kasama ng nanay, kasi ako po yung bunso. Bago linagay si Alvin sa adoption, ang sabi ng receptionist doon sa orphanage, ipinakita raw yung larawan ni Al sa TV program ni Inday Badiday. Hindi nyo ba yun nakita? Wala po kami TV noon araw. Isa sa mga palatandaan nila noon sa nawawala nilang kapatid, ang hilig daw nito sa pagsayaw. Marilyn and Glenda, we have video pala. Kuha ni Nanay Lilia nung nag-reunion sila. Ipakicheck mo nga kung marirecognize mo. Kamukha po siya ni Ate Jaan. Ang galing niyang magsayaw. Ganyan po ang mukha ni ate nung kabataan niya po. Ito po, oh. This video seems like a clue because uh, Glenda says she recognizes the face of her brother. Do you remember one of Nana's friend who came over one time and her little boy played with me? He's got a missing finger. Putol! Putol! Isa naman sa mga naaalala ni Alvin, ang kalaro niya noon na naputulan daw ng daliri. This one... Jason, 
the one who put all the finger. I remember the accident, so yeah. Yung sinasabi niya na naputulan na daliri, anak ko yun, si Jason, yung bisikleta niya, ginagamit niya. Yung anak ko sumakay, siya ang tumutulak hanggang sa mapunta sila doon sa may kalsada. Tumadsa doon sa ginagawang sasakyan, hinila niya hanggang sa nakita niya, putulan na yung daliri nung anak ko, si Jason. Do you remember a, a twin sisters that lived near us? Oh! Mm -hmm. threw a rock, a, a bato. Kambal, sila kambal. Kapatid ng nanay namin. Ang isa sa kambal na tinutukoy ni Glenda, si Jocelyn. Pagkakalaro ko kami, nabato ko si Bitot kung tawagin sa ulo. Misan aalis ko yan ang bahay, hindi magpapaalam. Babalik na lang ho gabi. Siya yung bumato ng bato kay Alvin. Oh, okay. Uh, Alvin, do you remember her face? Yeah, a little bit. Just... Did she have curly hair? Bulat yung buhok ko dati nung bata ako. Nagpaunat na lang ako ng buhok. Almost 32 years namin siyang hinahanap. Siya na po, hindi na kami nag-aalimlangan. Bagamat maraming mga detalye ang nagkakatugma, kailangan pa rin 100% sigurado. DNA test ang kukumpirma sa kanilang mga hinala. We have uh, Mr. Jaime Lazapin from DNA Solutions. Medyo matagal ho inabot, no? Bago ho lumabas yung results. Bakit po? Yung transport po nung samples at saka yung pag-test. Uh, Mas matagal ho yung full siblingship. Kumpirma kung magkapatid nga ba si Glenda at Marilyn at ang naghahanap ng kanyang tunay na pamilya dito sa Pilipinas na si Alvin. Si Glenda at si Alvin sumailalim sa tinatawag na full siblingship DNA test. At heto na ang resulta. Based on the DNA results obtained from the analysis of DNA laws I listed, The probability of full siblingship is ninety-nine point nine 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 six percent. Wow! So it's positive. You guys are siblings. <laughs> You are the sisters that I've, I've been looking for for this whole time. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. I'm happy that I've, I've found you. Yung tatay nyo ba uh, buhay pa? Wala na po kami mga magulang. Kami dalawa na lang po ni ate. Kaya sobrang, sobra pong masaya. Lalo na po sa sitwasyon ko kasi ako po yung bunso. So si ate na lang po yung parang nanay ko. Kayo po yung naging daan para magkatagpo po kaming magkakapatid. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po. Instrumento lang kami ng Panginoon, Marilyn. We're happy to serve at uh, natutuwa kami na may nabuo kaming pamilya. Nagpapasalamat po ako sa Panginoon kasi tinupad niya po yung pinagdarasan ng magulang namin. Pin yung, uh, nagpapasalamat po din ako sa magulang ni Alvin na nagkupkup kasi hindi po naging miserable yung buhay ng kapatid. Alam ko po na masaya na yung nanay namin. <laughs> Kahit wala na siya, kasi kompleto na kami. <laughs> what can you say to that, uh, Alvin? I'm just truly really grateful for this opportunity. And I just wish it was a different circumstance instead of you know, the Zoom. I just wanted to, to be there with them and, and, and hug them and, and let them know that, you know, I've never for, forgotten about them, so, yeah. Si Alvin, ipinakilala sa kanyang mga kapatid, ang kanyang misis at mga anak. And this is Josiah. <laughs> you say hello to Glenda, Marilyn? You say hello? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say this one. Oh wow, what a lovely baby. How she's smiling. This is Zala Faith. You get to meet him soon. <laughs> Baby, meet your aunts. This is Ollie, Oliver, Hello to Marilyn and Glenda. 
Let's do this. Uh, hello, Ollie. Hello. And this is this is Ebony. Hi, Ebony. Nice meeting you. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Ebony. How are you? Hi. Hi, Marilyn. Ebony. Family found. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Very overwhelming, but I'm very happy for Alvin. We were praying and hoping for this. Alvin, do you feel the missing piece fits now and you're whole? I feel a sense of uh, relief right now and I can't, I can't explain the, the, the feeling. I feel happy and I feel, I feel complete and I hope that next year that we can, we can reunite. I'm just looking forward to uh, meeting them in, in, in person again. I just want to say thank you to um, the team from, with KMJS. I'm truly grateful and God to thank you for so I'm happy. <laughs> We're all instruments of the Lord's kindness and goodness. Thank you so thank much you. for your time. Thank you so much. Ang Batang Naligaw noong 1989 dahil sa inyong tulong, tuluyan nang makakauwi. No matter what the situation is, and look, we're in a harsh restriction. You just keep praying and keep your, your hearts in content. Try not to force the situation, but let God choose the time for you and it will come. Thank you so much mga kapuso. Kung nagustuhan niyo po ang video ito, subscribe na sa GMA Public Affairs YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the bell button for our latest updates.